Well, Rachel Lindsay is an author, attorney, media personality, podcaster, and speaker, and now she can add novelist to that list with her new book, Real Love, which follows Maya, who turns down the opportunity to star in a dating show. And Rachel is with us now. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to talk about Real Love. Yeah, you know a little something about a dating show. Just a little. Just I don't know what little. gave it away. But just a little. <laughs> no, but this goes into kind of the what ifs, yes. right? In this type of scenario, the protagonist, Maya, um, she says no to a dating show. Yeah. So it's, you know, set this up for us. What inspired you to write this and what did you want to explore with this book? Yeah, I feel like we often wonder what if, if I had said no to this, if I had said yes to this. And it's a moment that I always go back to in my life because saying yes to going on The Bachelor changed the entire trajectory of my life. Right. And so when I pitched my book of essays that I did last year, I also pitched this idea. And I thought it was a fun way to explore what if I had said no? What if I had yeah. stayed in that box? What if I had stayed on that life plan? in that relationship that wasn't going anywhere, in a career that wasn't fulfilling me, what would it look like? And this gave me the opportunity to do that. So it's a romance novel, but it's also a book about self-discovery. Yeah, so I mean, obviously you pull from your own experiences. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. you did The Bachelorette. <laughs> um, but, you know, what was your approach to this? What, and you just explained kind of the idea behind it, but what do you hope people take away from it? Yeah, I, I've thought about that a lot. Who am I writing to? And yeah. I feel like this is a book for everyone because everyone's been at that crossroads of love, life, career, uh, friendship. The book yeah. deals with all of that. And so I wanted people to say yes, even when they're scared, to embrace that fear, but don't let fear hold you back. Because for up until I was 31, I was doing that. And then when I finally decided to step out of it, it changed my life for the better. Yeah. And so I think often fear holds us back from so many different, yes. in so many different ways. And I so agree. this book explores that. I believe that too. Like you should say yes to every opportunity you can get. Just see I where it goes. Too. Feel it out a yeah. little bit. Uh, but you had an event last night, a conversation mm -hmm. with Matt James, mm -hmm. um, also from The Bachelor. Yes. Uh, what was it like for you to kind of do this with him and go deeper into this this book in that space? Well, Matt was the perfect person to moderate this panel and people haven't seen us publicly interact. We're friends. So this was the first time that we did something together. And who better to ask me questions about being on a reality show and exploring the what if than someone who also had, had a similar experience, experience first it, yeah. black bachelor. But it was really fun to connect with the audience. For the person that I was writing for, I got to talk to them directly. Yeah. I got to meet them afterwards. They got to ask questions of both of us. And it was really, it just makes it all come to life. It was a really special moment. Yeah, yeah. And, and to have everybody right there in front of you to yeah. kind of interact with is nice. Um, you have two podcasts. Yes. <laughs> yes. One of them called Morally Corrupt. Um, mm -hmm. had, you had an emergency podcast Ooh. session the other other day. Tell us what happened. Well, a lot has happened. So Morally Corrupt is all about Bravo shows. And a lot has happened, or from Friday to Saturday, 24 hours, there was a huge breakup from a very popular show on Vanderpump Rules. And, and we so, just had the girls here. Did you really? We had, um, we had Raquel and Ariana. Oh, you can I mean, tell sorry, me something. I'm sorry, Raquel and Sheena. You can tell We're me here. something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, they didn't tell me anything of that. It's everywhere, whether you watch the show or not. And I was talking to my friends. I was trying to talk to my husband about it. He didn't get it. And then finally we were like, we got to do an emergency pod. <laughs> it's therapy for Everybody, us. Everybody, we got to do a uh, podcast. We got to flesh it out. So we did just that and we get all into it. We don't hold anything back. Well, Nothing. everybody's got to listen to find out what happened yes. while all the drama was about. Real Love is out everywhere now. So go get yourself a copy. Rachel, thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me.